Good afternoon and welcome to Colton Avenue. Today's visitors are the scholars of Potters Bar Town who, despite lying 14th in the Isthmian League Premier Division, come into the game on a decent run of one defeat in the last six games. Since new manager Sammy Moore came in at the end of January, there have been lots of players comings and goings, so let's check the lineups. For Potters Bar, there is actually only one change from the side that lost 2 1 to promotion changers Hornchurch in midweek. Coming into the side, number 10, Joe Bochi. For Carshilton Athletic, there's also just one change from the team that lost in the Velocity Trophy at Margate on Tuesday night. Player manager Pete Adonai brings himself back into the starting lineup. Also making a reappearance on the bench after an injury layoff is Dan Papo. And also coming in on the bench after rejoining Carshilton is Ezzy Ebbeswamey. So it's going to be Potter's Bar who are going to get us away. Kicking from right to left in their changed bright yellow shirts. When the two sides met earlier in the season at Potter's Bar, it finished 2-1 to Carl Shorten. Goals from Danny Bassett and Paris Hamilton Downs in the first half. And uh, a late own goal was uh, for Potter's Bar, but... Uh, Carl Shorten came away from the long journey to Potter's Bar with a well-earned victory. Lively start this from Potter's Bar and Ekpetita. Running at Car Shorten players and gets a shot off and scores. <laughs> Calvin Ekpetito puts Potter's Bar in front early on. Williams got Sanko available in front and space in front. Players inside, but Fraser Shaw, important interception there for Potter's Bar. And Nye spreading the ball out here for Roberts. Two players coming to him. No support from Gabalu leader. And Nye gives it away. Straight to Aomo. And he's got players in support, including Bochi. And Bochi puts Potters Bar 2-0 up. Ball given away in midfield. Quick break from Potters Bar. And they're punished. Or I should say they've punished Car Shorten. Hamilton downs and ball given away again. This time Reed able to clear. Thrown in for Bochi. Williams with the header out this time. Shaw meets it. Strikes it well but just wide. Roberts nodding on Hamilton Downs ball, finding Bassett. Bassett clipping it back in for Roberts. Forces a save from El Druby. Bennett trying to work some space around the edge of the box, but Potters Bar get it clear. Roberts finding Bennett now moving forward in midfield. Takes a shot, but uh, well wide. They take it short. Work to the edge of the box for Bassett. Thought about strike it first time and gets a strike off. I think it took a deflection, but Dan Bassett will claim it. It's 21st of the season and Carl Shorten bring themselves back to 2-1. Sanko inside for Adnai. Williams advancing and finding Roberts. Comes into a challenge from Guerfi, but then gets a shot off. 
and forces a superb save from Al Drubi. That was flying into the net from Dan Roberts, but good save. I'm not sure what's going on here, but a uh, bit of an altercation on the edge of the box. So yellow card for Danny Bassett. Bassett turning away from Guerfi. Ogundiri tracking back. Sanko lays it off nicely for Bassett. Play allowed to go and comes in. And just evades Dan Roberts. Referees decided that uh, Isaac Ogundiri's name needs to go in the book. I think it's. Uh, Second challenge, I think there was one in the first half, which uh, a few of the car Shorten fans short thought should have been a yellow card, and uh, this time it is one for Ogundiri. Bennett nipping in and taking it off of Dixon and finding Gabalu leader. Chance to stride forward. Bradford just finds his footing, and Roberts here. Chance to get a shot off. Al Drubi with a save. As he Sanko swinging the ball in. Bassett picking it up, finding Bennett. Bennett trying to get to the byline and does there, gets there in front of Shaw and takes a shot into the side netting. Pascal's ball finding Ogundiri. Hamilton down to cross. So Paris Hamilton Downs name goes into the book, third one today. And um, Calvin Dixon of Potter's Bar's name also goes into the book. They get it back to Thomas. Bassick does well to get a foot in and Bradford in a bit of space on the edge of the box. Bennett finding Adonai, chance to get his head up. Swings a ball in, oh, Dan Bennett! <laughs> Pinpoint cross from the player manager. Dan Bennett on hand to head it in and bring Kosh Orton level. Dan Bennett with his seventh of the season. Doesn't get too many headers, but uh, that one there pulls it back to two all. Referee's assistants just called over the referee to the sideline here, not sure for what. I think it might be some comments coming from the Potter's Bar Town bench. So the referee appears to have brandished a yellow card. I think that's the Potter's Bar Town manager, Sammy Moore. So Al Drubi's clearance. Papo towering header. Roberts finding Bradford in support. Little ball through for Bassett and just beyond him. Roberts wins the flick and Bassett's onto it. Takes the early shot, but wide. Bradford, five players to aim for in the box. Towards the back post, Papo gets up. Just onto the roof of the net. Aoma able to take it down and run at Carl Shorten defenders. 
Ball rebounds back for him, and little ball finds Parchment here. And Parchment, he just, Parchment fires it in off the far post. Aaron Aoma brought the long clearance down and found some space. Ball rebounded kindly for Corey Parchment, and his shot found the far corner off of, off of the far post. And there is the final whistle. Killer blow from Potter's Bar at the death there. Corey Parchment with a winner in the added time makes it Carshorton Athletic 2, Potter's Bar Town 3. Carshorton got back into the game having gone 2-0 down after 15 minutes. But that last gasp, last gasp goal brings Potter's Bar Town a 3-2 victory this afternoon. Carshorton Athletic play again on Monday night here at Colston Avenue when they host Bognor Regis Town at 7.45 kickoff.